Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and it's nice to be with you today. Recently, I was gifted some fabric. Now, when your friends offer you their leftovers, say yes. <laughs> it's a good way to get some fun fabric that you would just never think to purchase yourself. And in this case, they're squares. They're six and a half inch squares, and so I had some fun kind of figuring out what I would do with my squares. I took uh, four squares to make this block here, two purples and two greens. I did not do a lot of measuring. I made two cuts through my squares, kind of a stack and whack, I think that's the name of it, way to do it. Stacked up my four squares, made two cuts, and then I sewed everything together. And the only time I really made sure that, that the points came together was in the middle here. But the other points don't match. Sometimes they do, but they don't match, and it's a really pretty block, I think. So let's get started. For my block today, our fun, just kind of a stack and whack block, I'm calling it a disappearing square. <laughs> I have four fabrics that sort of complement each other, a green and a purple, and I want them all face up. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just um, not measuring too much, but maybe about a quarter an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half away from each corner. I'm going to be cutting, cutting through, sort of diagonally, not quite. Then, I showed you that cut, but I don't want to pull it apart yet. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now I have four stacks of fabric, and I'm going to be laying out four different blocks with my little pieces of fabric. So if I put a green here, I want one of the purples, it doesn't matter which one. Then I'll put my other green on this side, and then the opposite purple, the different purple here. So I should have four different fabrics there. And then I'll do the same thing with the rest of my fabrics. Let's see here. I'll have these, and then I'll put these four blocks together. I'm going to sit down at the machine and I'll talk about how I put them together. I'll start by putting a purple and green together that are up on the top, right sides together, and I want the points to hang off just a little bit, about a quarter inch, as I do my seam there. And I won't be pressing this until I have all four pieces together because I have a lot of bias edges and I don't want it to stretch out. Bias edges tend to stretch out really easy. So I'm just going to move ahead and press when I have all four pieces together. If you want uh, this side to be perfectly straight, now when you put those two together, you may lose a straight line there. It's not a perfectly straight line down on the left. Um, so you can straighten that with a ruler. It's off just a tiny bit. and Or you can move ahead and just make adjustments in your seam. Your seam may not be a quarter inch, but that's okay because we are going to be trimming it up. Um, but if you want to take an extra step, that's fine. I'm not going to do that. I live dangerously sometimes. <laughs> And then I'll put the other two pieces together, right sides together with the points hanging off.
and then I will put these two together. Right sides together. This is a really nice block. It's very forgiving. And once I have the square together, I just wanted to point out that those two points in the middle, the two green points, they don't match. There is a gap between, and that's just the nature of how this all comes together. Now, since I used six and a half inch squares, this block should be pretty close to five and a half inches. Mine is just a tiny bit bigger. And since I'm really not doing a lot of measuring as I go along, I do need to trim this up. So this is the one time when you need to trim your square to five and a half inches if you're using a six and a half inch squares. And then you'll have, when you're done, four of these five and a half inch squares. And then we'll put them together once they're all the same. So I'm going to trim all my blocks to five and a half. And again, this block does not, the seams don't need to match, which is a beautiful thing. It's good to have blocks that match and then sometimes it's fun to make some blocks that don't need all that care. So I will continue trimming up and then we'll put them all together. Okay, my blocks are all trimmed and this is the way I've decided to put them together. There are so many options. I just thought I'd show you a few different ways that you could do this. Just so many. Just twist and turn them around and see what you prefer. So that looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? With the small triangles coming around the outside with the big chunks in the middle. Kind of like that one too. You could match could have these two match or they could all be different yeah but I think for today I'm going to put um, my little triangles pointing at each other and I like when they match so I could do all different too so that would be where all the little triangle pointy things are different, but I'm gonna have them be the same. So I'll sit down at the machine, I will put this together, and we'll have our block. Here's our completed block. I think it's beautiful. If you wanna stick around, I'm gonna put some more together, and you can sew along with me. And thanks for joining me today.